Hi, Chuck Hawley from West Marine. Boy, these are sure cool. This is a 49er, an Olympic class boat that was recently used in the Qingdao Olympics over in China. This is one of the fastest ways two people can sail around. Extremely lightweight, uh, beautiful hull design, and now they're experimenting with a relatively new carbon fiber rig, which will be uh, standard in a, probably a couple of years. Uh, you know, a boat like this needs everything it can get going for it in order to sail as quickly as possible. And a company called McLube has come out with some really interesting products. These are distributed by Harkin, and they are really wonderful for improving the performance of your boat. Their original product was something called Sail Coat. And this is a dry finish. It feels very, very, very slippery, like it's Teflon or something like that. You can spray this on sails, and especially on areas which are subject to friction, like the leech of a jib that has to pass around the mast or the shrouds. You spray this on, it dries in an instant, and the sail becomes so much more slippery that it just whoop, goes right around when you tack or when you jibe. It's also really effective for sails that would otherwise gain weight through moisture retention. You spray it on the sail and the water just rolls right off of it. This is handy if you're going downwind in some sort of one design boat and the jib is stacked on the deck and you've got the spinnaker up, you spray the McLube on it, and when you rehoist the sail basically is dry. Um, the place that I've also used this is on the luff of continuous luff support jibs, like you'd use with a head foil or with a you know, foil support on your head stay, this allows the sail to go up really, really slip, slipperly. And it's just a clear, dries almost instantly uh, spray. Comes in a rattle can, and one can will last you a really long time unless you're trying to dry off an entire spinnaker. The second product that the guys at Team McLube came up with was hull coat. This is a citrus based wipe on, wipe off material for hulls, and it does a couple of things. It's hydrophobic, so it keeps water from sort of sticking to the surface of the water. It also um, repels dirt and grime, so that if you have it above the water line, a, a, a coating of this lasts for about a year, below the water line lasts for about 15 to 20 days, and it keeps the boat from getting dirty. It just, it repels dirt, it's amazing. But you don't require a lot of polishing or buffing. You basically wipe it on, let it sit there for a while, wipe it off, and you'll have a really glossy, slick hull. So that's a relatively new product. This was introduced in the spring of 2008. It's a hull coat. The final material, or the final package or product, is one drop. What uh, the guys at Team McLube found is that a lot of people were using the, the uh, sail coat to do their ball bearings on their blocks, like Harkin or Lumar or Ronstan blocks. So they'd spray this on it, and it was so slippery that the balls inside the, the uh, bearing races would actually skid because they were not rolling. They were skidding around the races. And even though the blocks worked okay, the balls started getting flat. So they came up with Team McLube One Drop. The idea here is you have a little teeny uh, dropper and you put just a drop on each race and you spin the block for about 30 seconds, you wipe off the excess and you're good to go. And so this is the ideal lubricant for all of the ball bearing and roller bearing blocks on your boat. So with these three products, you can tune up your boat and make it much faster, make it much slicker, make the blocks work better, make the sails hoist better, stay drier, make your hull sleeker. And they're all available at West Marine.